Hello guys, welcome to Hang with the Onions. My name is Omar. Today we are going to be talking about diet. Most people diet for different reasons. Some to lose weight, some to maintain weight, others for health reasons. But whatever reason an individual may have for dieting, one thing is sure. To maintain a diet is not easy. It's difficult to switch from your regular meal to into special meals just for whatever reason you might have. Today, I'm going to be talking about ketogenic diet. But before we get into this video, I want to put out a disclaimer out there. I am not a nutritionalist, 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 whatever. What I'm trying to say is that I'm not an expert in nutrition. Neither am I a ketogenic expert. But I have gone on this diet before. I discovered it in 2016. I've gone on it before. I maintained it as a lifestyle for several months, like maybe five to six months. And it was an amazing, amazing journey for me. And after winning Jidena, that's a couple of months back, I decided to get back into this diet. Before I win Jidena, however, I've tried getting back severally, but I failed. Like, I have so many failed attempts, if I'm going to be honest. I've had so many failed attempts. My resistivity was very poor. But now that I've win Jidena, I'm easing back into it, and I'm feeling amazing already, even though I've been just a couple of weeks in. Having already put out a disclaimer that I'm not an expert on this diet, I am however going to give you guys the tips I've discovered that work best for me. Tell you guys how you can keto if you're interested with very little stress. So guys, you already know that being an average Nigerian, you cannot just switch from your regular meal, rice, beans, yam, pasta, noodles, all those meals that we are known for, and then switch to vegetable cabbage and cool and then not expect to miss your regular meal is it's just not possible but i'm going to tell you guys give you guys some tips that i use for myself and i've discovered that it's helping me to be accountable to myself and it's helping me to maintain the lifestyle ketogenic lifestyle i mean more like I said, people have reasons and I have mine, okay? Weight loss being very first on the list. So guys, I'm going to give you guys the tip. And I'm also going to show you guys some meals that I had for Friday, Saturday and Sunday this week, okay? Tip number one. You have to plan for your meal ahead of time. Usually, so most of the ketogenic groups that belong to have a meal timetable for the first two weeks. But the truth is, once you get a hang of it, you don't even need a timetable. You can just plan in your head, like, this is what I'm going to have from this to this. And it will work perfectly for you. So, a decent meal has to consist of vegetable, fat or oil, and protein and all these things that i mentioned have to be within the compliance range because there are vegetables that are not compliant there are fat and oil that are not compliant and there are proteins that are not compliant for example you can have your vegetable as cabbage and cucumber mix shredded or sliced whichever way you can have your sauce of fat or oil as olive oil sprinkled on the vegetable or mayonnaise and you can have your source of protein as a boiled egg fried egg or a piece of chicken or meat these are compliant you have to do your research to know the ones that are compliant so that when you mix a meal you know the right um compliant items to add to the meal tip number three after the first two weeks you will have to include a cheat day to help you stay accountable yes i say cheat yeah i know i know ketogenic diet you kick out of you kick yourself out of ketosis if you cheat or whatever but guys saying that you have to include a cheat day does not mean that you should just wake up and say today is my cheat day i will eat rice all i want i will eat beans all i want or i will eat pasta all i want whichever one that you are craving the reason i do this most times is to remind myself that um <laughs> this is what i'm used to 
and it, I kind of notice that it helps me if I give myself that cheat day I look forward to it and I tend not to cheat when it's not my cheat day for instance if my cheat day is every second week or every two or Friday of every two weeks if I'm tempted on Thursday I'll be like if I cheat today now and Saturday is coming that is my cheat day what am I going to do or whatever I don't know somehow it helps me to keep myself accountable and I do serious portion control these days I find out that I don't even look forward to cheating like I used to now if I cheat I tend to actually punish myself for it just like you just like you see in a minute my first meal I'm going to be showing you guys is what I had on Friday this was um, shredded cabbage and cucumber with mayonnaise. I know protein was missing in that meal. I couldn't wait to boil my egg before I had the meal. I was so hungry when I got back. But you will hear me saying in the video that I cheated the day before. And when you hear that I had ice cream, you think that I had a whole bucket of ice cream. It was just some scoops of ice cream from Jidena's, um ice cream. But I still punished myself for it. It was not my cheat day I had it that is supposed to be a confession but it was not my cheat day it happens but the truth is when you fall don't remain on the ground get up and keep walking so it's about five minutes after two and this is going to be my first meal for today I did intermittent fast till afternoon. I would have eaten around 12 if not that I went out. Um, yesterday I had ice cream so I'm punishing myself for caving into the temptation and taking the ice cream. So I'm having um salad today. This is cabbage, carrots, cucumber and mayonnaise. So that's what I'm going to be having. So for dinner, I had cucumber, skin and diced with fried eggs and my very favorite drink. The cucumber, I ate it the way we eat um, regular boiled yam with sauce and it was super delicious. Saturday's breakfast, I made a basic egg wrap or you can call this egg shawarma. This is just egg fried flat and then I had my fillings of cabbage, cucumber, mayonnaise and a little sprinkle of black pepper in it. I had it with my zobo sweetened with dates and it was yum. For Saturday's lunch, I had pumpkin leaf boiled with olive oil, some leftover sardines and an egg. Um, I went ahead to enjoy it with, of course, iced um, ginger drink and it was delicious. I was a little confused as to what to have for dinner, so I scrambled an egg with half of sardine, diced some cucumbers and had it with half of avocado pear and of course my favorite drink. Sunday lunch was just a plate of goat's milk pepper soup. Um, my people enjoyed this with rice but I just had my pepper soup and a glass of cold water. Sunday's dinner was smoked catfish boiled with pumpkin leaf and um, a little bit of olive oil. As you can see my diced onions, some pepper, seasoning and that. Uh, I had it with a glass of cold zobo. So guys, you've seen what I had these few days. Um, that is not to say that ketogenic meals are restricted within what you just saw. There are varieties of other meals out there. You just have to join a good keto support group if you're interested in um, ketoing. You have to find a support group so that you see the meals that other people eat and then plan ahead of time to include it in your meal. Keto meals are not as expensive as people think. Some people um, have to do surgery to lose weight. Some people have to do um, a lot of different things to lose weight actually. But ketogenic I feel it's affordable and it is easy. Not so easy but you can work according to your pace in keto. And another thing is most people once you tell them you are ketoing they will expect you to just lose weight overnight. It doesn't work that way. 
There is a different means of losing weight overnight. It's called liposuction. Keto is not liposuction. It takes a minute. So if you're interested and you've started and you're not seeing results immediately, please do not give up hope. Hold yourself accountable, be consistent in it, and over a period of time, you actually not just lose weight, you lose it healthily, and you will love yourself more for it, because it comes with a lot of other goodie packages. I know when I did it before, my skin was glowing, I was looking amazing, even without makeup. So it's something I want to get back into and be seriously into it like I used to before. So um, that is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy the content. Do not forget to subscribe. Is that red button by the right of your screen. Just tap it and hit it again for notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new content. If you love the video that you just watched, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.